Today we're going to talk about reliability and longevity of the engine. This is an NC based engine which the engine family starts at 250 then this engine a 300 and then a 450. These engines have been out for quite a few years now and they've absolutely proven themselves. Um, you look at the guys with the 250s and all the GPXs and some of the SSRs and you just you don't hear about them having engine problems and uh, I keep my eye on it you know I watch what's going on I did a lot of research before I bought this motorcycle I mean even down to engine components and we're gonna go into that a little bit today we'll go over the workbench here here we have a KX450 head that snapped its intake valves and you can see the damage it's not horrible but you can see between the valves where the valve actually smacked the head that is the most common engine failure of 450 Kawasaki engines right there intake valve snap why do the intake valve snap they're titanium Titanium, big misconception on titanium. Everybody thinks titanium is the strongest material on earth. Not true. The strongest bolt you can get in titanium is only grade five. I have them all over my bike. And I only put them in places where the torque specs weren't ridiculous. Like your forks, 14 pounds of torque. I'm fine. It'll handle that all day long. You know, like my brake caliper bolts, those are all titanium. Again, you don't have to torque those to death. But titanium has its limitations. Um, the Kawasaki, the valves they use are a two-piece valve. Oop, got away from me. You can see that line right there? It's where they fuse the valve together and that's where they snap, period. That's your biggest problem with Kawasaki. And I'm assuming other brands too, because titanium valves just, they're a bad idea in the long run. If you're just a racer and you can afford to rebuild your motor and you stay on top of that stuff, you'll be fine. But if you're a weekend warrior and you just take it out you know, on the weekends and enjoy yourself, bam, that valve breaks, your fun is totally over. And in a lot of cases, the engine's gonna cost more than the bike's worth. That brings me to another thing. On all the forums I'm on, every day I see another bike going up there to part out. And these are gorgeous 450s and 250s. People are parting them out because the engine repair, replacement or repair costs are more than the bike's worth. That's sad because a lot of people stop riding for that reason. Now one thing you'll notice is how fat that valve is down at the towards the head look at this valve see how that's undercut that's a stainless valve and the reason why they can get away with that is because the material is so much stronger they can under undercut it for increased flow it weighs more it's going to slow down your valve train a little bit and you got to have a heavier valve spring but you won't break this valve period you will not do it there are guys with Kawasaki 450s and 250s that when they rebuild their motors, they're putting stainless steel valves into them. That's what this is. This is a conversion valve. So, one thing about the uh, SSR and the Zongshin engine, they use stainless steel valves. And that's one of the reasons why you're seeing the reliability out of these engines. They're not built to explode, they're built to last. They really are. 